What about nuclear energy? You have, you have some investments in nuclear energy. Yeah, I mean, what I've always said is I think the end state of the world is a combination of nuclear and solar, um, probably 80-20, one way or the other, sort of terrestrial-based nuclear. I, I think fusion is likely to work at some point in the next couple of decades, and, and that's a really big deal. Uh, I think that it's good to have a backup option. Uh, it's good to have two sources, um, but, you know, like, it's all sort of fusion when you think about it. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm big, I mean, I, I think fusion, I think it's definitely possible to make fusion work, um, the, uh, but I think uh, at the, and I used to be a big fan of, of like having uh, of that as the long-term energy source, um, but I'm inclined to think like indirect fusion uh, fr from the sun essentially is going to be the primary source, and then to some degree there will be uh, fusion reactors for, you know, maybe if you're really, or whatever. Yeah, if you're really far north or well, really far you, south or something. You, what like about that. the risks of, of nuclear energy? Of, of fusion? Of fusion. Yeah, I assume there's some risk. There's no risk. Not really. Zero. I'm an idiot. I don't. Uh, no. Um, no. No. I mean, with fusion, the difficulty is keeping it going. Uh, not, uh, you know, with with, with fission, uh, you you have some meltdown risk. Although, there's, you know, there's new technology on the fission front that makes the meltdown risk extremely low. Um, but um, but with fusion, the great difficulty is just, is keeping the reaction from is keeping it, the fire from going out. It, it's quite hard to sustain a fusion reaction, uh, unless you have something very big like the sun, and where, where you have gra the sun has gravitational confinement of the fusion reaction. Um, so since you you can't do gravitational confinement on Earth, you have to do some sort of uh, electromagnetic confinement in one form or another. Uh, or, a, or a kinetic confinement by slamming things into each other. Um, so it's, it's quite tricky to prevent a fusion explosion from not immediately extinguishing. Got it. So, so fusion is like... Uh, um, I mean, probably um, what you do is just repeat it every second or whatever. So uh, I mean, just to, just to sort of, you know, I, uh, fusion is like when you, when you take, uh, say, two hydrogen... Uh, atoms or, or uh, how two hydrogen isotopes, technically, and slam them together and form helium. That's, that's fusion. Right. And then fission is like when you've got um, like a heavy atom that is decaying at a, at a uh, you know, relatively, like a noticeable rate, like uranium or plutonium, and decays into smaller um, atoms then uh, that, that's, that's fission. Okay, I didn't do so well in science, so we're gonna try to uh, move along 